All right, this is interesting. No, Mark did not get run over. We are 10 miles from the nearest road up this little cow trail and today. Got uh, Mark along with me. Good morning. We're heading out to uh, go do that fire tower that we failed miserably on last fall. Let's see if we can get to it this time. It should be a fun day with all the bugs. Hordes and hordes of bugs I bet you. We're seeing lots of bear crap. We've already seen three bears and uh, two cubs. Lots of bear activity. It's a nice day for it. See how close we can get to this tower and then we got a bushwhack. The closer we get, the better. More bear crap. This whole route looks different. Maybe we're not even on the right planet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I remember that one. <laughs> there should be a little knoll with some rocks on it, then we'll know where we are. Yeah. Yeah, that's just getting grown in. Yeah. Got a big pile of bear turd. Oof. Perfect. That's where we were, maybe. No, we never got that far. Or did sure. we? Well, maybe this looks we, more clear. Yeah, this. maybe we did. Because then we walked you're up right, there, yeah, right, right there. Yeah, we went that far? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. <laughs> okay, I guess we were this far. Mark is right. So this is where the hill that we couldn't get up in the winter. So we're going to see what it looks like now. We have to get up it. We have to get closer. I'm too big and fat to walk. Uh-huh, uh-huh, oh boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Big dip, that's a big dip here. Big, big, big. Yeah, I don't know. That's a big hill. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go up. Actually, what I'm gonna do, Put this sucker in four low, just so we don't spin and slide. Well, it wasn't too bad there. too bad it's just that first little steep spot now we're almost up on the flats here it's a beautiful day for a drive <laughs> <laughs> there goes my ride getting up an altitude here. <laughs> this will only take us to the place where we want to walk from. <laughs> oh, so. Doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't think so, Rob. I don't know. I can go look here. But we'll let's take a look at this one. Looks pretty serious. Are you serious? <laughs> here. You might as well take the seriousness with you. Well, it looks totally doable, so we're going to give her a shot. Oh yeah. 
yeah, stuff flying everywhere, but we made it. We're going down the hill, should be interesting. Oh. That's the front bumper. There's one spot on this hill, will be fun coming back, but should be able to do it. We hope. This is the spot. Deep slidey one. I think we'll be okay though. We gotta go down into this valley and then we gotta go back up the other side. We don't know what the other side is like, but we will find out. We got a nice little moose antler here. A little bit of a dip there. And then we start heading down here. Uh, hopefully, we gotta go check it out, see if we're going into a swamp or. We still got. Uh, like a kilometer to go to where we want to bushwhack from. Okay, we're heading down into the unknown here. Hopefully this is just a yeah. a down and not a swamp. A little soft here at one point. Looks alright so far. Narrow, that's all. Hey, right, we're going up the other side. So far, so well. Wow. <laughs> all of a sudden, it looks grown in. Oh boy. Oh boy. This might be the end of the line. All right, this is interesting. No, Mark did not get run over. We are 10 miles from the nearest road up this little cow trail and the linkage broke. A little plastic linkage on this crappy Chevy. Why you would put a plastic linkage Chevy. So we're trying to half-ass it back together. We've got no drive. It gets stuck in, stuck in neutral and that's it. So pretty tough getting out of here in neutral. The bugs are crazy. But we're gonna carry on. You can see where the tie wrap is on. You wanna point to it, Mark? The tie wrapped on. That's a little plastic piece that holds that linkage from there to the shifter. Yeah. Which is Pretty stupid to put a plastic piece. Why would why would you put a plastic piece there? Come on, guys. Anyways, so we put a little tie wrap around it. Hopefully that'll hold it. Probably when we par pop it into drive, it'll come back and we'll pop that right off. But it hopefully it'll stay in drive. If not, we can just uh, come under here and manually crank it into drive. So we're leaving the crappy Chevy in the bush here. And we're gonna try go to the tower. We uh, we think we can get out with the Chevy, so we're gonna go try this. See what happens. We got pretty far to walk. I don't know if we're gonna walk that far, but we'll see. Well, wouldn't have done us any good if we climbed that hill with the truck because this is what the road looks like now. <laughs> Brutal. All right, we're coming over the end of the other ridge here. We're gonna have to bushwhack really shortly here. Try and get to the, the other old road that loops around. We can see the ridge way over there, but the tower is to our right somewhere and I can't see it. So maybe there'll be a, a lookout up here or something. All right, we're bushwhacking now. Not very nice bush. 
We got about 400 meters to get to the other road. Downhill, then uphill. And then we still haven't seen any sign of the tower. So who knows? <laughs> this is getting brutal in here. Trees down everywhere. We're getting down to a swamp from the looks of it. There's a creek marked on the GPS, so hopefully it's not a big bog, impassable bog. Oh man. Oh. This last little part, not fun. Yeah, that's not looking very promising. That looks like full blown swamp water for 100 feet or so. Well, let's see if we can skirt it. Look at the black flies, it's just insane. Well, this doesn't look very promising. Oh, okay, we've come down a little further and a little tiny creek, it's about four feet deep, but I think we can jump across right here and get across. I thought the wind would be up here and the bugs would be gone, but swamp is worse than anywhere. All right, we're across. It's about the only place. Okay, we hit the other little road. You can't even call this a road, but it's a road. So we gotta follow this now. See how far we get. This is just beautiful. Trees down everywhere. You gotta walk around, go over. This is ridiculous. It's easier walking through the, the bush than it is on the stupid road. Maybe some of my older viewers can answer me this question. Do you lose a lot of brain cells when you get older? Because it seems when I get, the older I get, the dumber I get. Doing stuff like this, I don't know why, what the drive is. Remember my book, What's the Attraction? <laughs> I don't know how much attraction there is anymore. Well, the road to nowhere just went nowhere and it stopped and this is more a bushwhack than a road. This is crazy. Now we're both getting pretty Pretty damn tired and we gotta go all the way back yet, so. I don't see any tower. It looks like this is all for nothing. We're up at the tower and there's no couple on it.
There's the cupola. What's left of it, the roof and the walls. See any dace on these? A couple has been down for a long time. There's the Elidade table. Another part of a wall. Lock flies are just horrendous. There's a big nest up there of some kind. Elidade table. Ladder's gone from it. Looks like they painted the top part of the structure orange. So nobody crashed into it with a plane. I won't be climbing this one, no point. There's the, uh, the housing for the weather instruments. There's the uh, first part of the ladder buried in the bush there. Never, never coming back here again. <laughs> all, right, all right, we're back across the swamp. We got this last hill up to the plateau to tackle. This is going to be a killer. Whew. Tired. <laughs> Gotta continue bushwhacking. Up that way. We made it up onto the plateau. We're coming across. Still got a ways to go to the truck, but at least we're up that hill. Fell down on my ass a couple times and went up that hill and just wanted to lay there. <laughs> but uh, I can pretty much say this is my last bushwhack to a tower. I'm done with them. Unless I can drive my trucker side by side right to the tower, that's it. No more of these long bushwhacks like this. This is crazy. Getting too old for this. Gonna die out here. The bugs are just nuts today too. 
Can't stop for a second. My, my back, I think uh, a nerve, my leg right from my groin to my knee, Major pain, holy god. I barely even walk. <laughs> That's it. I've done this kind of stuff, man. Never again. Well, as you can see, we made it back to the truck. The uh, My nerves and my legs are starting to calm down a little bit, but still hurting. Now we just got to get the wounded truck out of here too. We just got that one hill that's going to be a challenge and hopefully it goes well. Okay, on. this is the hill. Lake. Oi, oi, oi. Don't hit her too hard because there's a bumper there. hills in and out or down or up or whatever it was. that side going over there but Flap. They come off? Yeah. <laughs> Can I go up this hole? Close one? Yeah. It's only 15 feet down in that ditch, eh? Oh, it pulls you over, that's why. <laughs> a little bit of soft sand there. Yep. Not too much to the right, though, but. Well, on this side. Oh. <laughs> that was the bumper. <laughs> Good thing the airbags didn't deploy. <laughs> Check her out before we go any further here. See what's sure. See what else is. Didn't didn't fuck probably mash my license plate. Yeah. Yeah, I made the license plate more aerodynamic. I don't think. Well, other than a couple sharpie bumps, I think over here was. Yeah. I wouldn't go too fast on these. Fuck. He sees oh. us. Yep. Jeez. He's running. <laughs> Holy, look at him go. Wow. Funny, eh? Like that far away and he's still. Yep. And that one this morning didn't even care. <laughs> 